I have now uh, uh, cut the uh, inset in the back of this piece <clears throat> and I'm going to mount it on the lathe on this chuck and just lightly tighten it in this place then I'm going to uh, take my two bars like this and tighten it just not cranked but uh, hand tight and uh, then I find the uh, the number on here that says one this one right here and I mark the edges of the piece that is on this section here. I also put a, a one in the center there and that way I can mount the uh, this bowl on the lathe in exactly the same position every single time. What I'm doing at this point here is I've now mounted this face plate or this bottom ring on the lathe I'm going to turn it on. I want to see how true it's spinning. Uh, now I know the jumbo jaws that uh, we use to turn the back piece out of, turn the inset out. Uh, they're not as true as they could be. And you can see with it's turning there's a slight uh, wobble in it. I'm just going to pull the camera over here a little bit further. Like this. And now I'm going to speed it up. You'll see that much more pronounced. Now it's only slight, but you can see it's moving a bit side side to side like this. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn. Uh, let me stop that for a minute. We're going to turn a little bit right in here, uh, just so that when we bring the next ring on, we can align the ring as true as possible to uh, to the chuck. You will notice that we haven't taken, that we've taken it down, but there's still some rough spots here. That's intentional. Uh, it's not my intention to take it uh, to start turning the actual piece, but to get a fairly accurate approximation of what where this edge should be. The uh, uh, it's what we're doing here is for alignment purposes and we're not starting to turn the piece to the design that we originally uh, drew out for this piece. Um, so we don't want to compromise that turning a little further down the road. 